Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just so you know, for those that are betting on whether or not I'm going to have another lawsuit this afternoon, <laughs> you know, I had emailed those in the Seattle Police Department. Yeah. Each of the judges in each county. <laughs> Uh, each sheriff in each county of the state of Washington? Yes, the state legislature. And I mentioned uh, victims' rights and resources. Oh, <laughs> and then just looking through the emails, I emailed all those civil rights coordinators. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, as an individual that has been victimized since uh, July 2nd of 2011, when my wife, yes, filed a false police report of domestic violence and child abuse uh, when she abducted my sons and kidnapped them? Yeah. I have often mentioned that I would like to have the assistance, yes, of the victim's rights, uh -huh, resources, and restitution. Yeah. Now, the Victims Witness Assistant Program, the Office of Military Commissions, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, the military commission is accessible to victims and their family members mm -hmm. and to providing logistical support for witnesses uh -huh, participating in military commissions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to need to know uh, of all the money available in the United States Army. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say as a victim. Poo. I know, Miley. Or is it Smiley? Poo. I know Office of Personal Management of the United States Navy, <laughs> four-star general of the Air Force, Goldfine or Goldfine, mm. and then there's the Marines, is it Paxton, or is it General Joseph Dunford, <laughs> and then there's that National Guard, <laughs> you know, I'm being victimized, and I... I realize the Department of Defense feels it necessary to have approximately $700 billion a year. <laughs> but as the individual that gets to participate in the Victim Witness Assistance Program, <laughs> I 